pre-ordered Yakuza 6, which at the moment I legitimately think might be the best collector's edition of anything. It is, you get the Yakuza game, it comes with two whiskey glasses and whiskey rocks. Say no snow. Oh. I don't get it. But no, that's Because one of Kiryu's things is he likes a bit of a drink. Yeah. Well... One of the writers in Yakuza's thing is that they like a bit of a drink. I have played... He goes to the bar and the guy will give you a history lesson yeah. on this whiskey. And I really like that, but I, I started playing Yakuza 0. Because we were going to be well playing for the channel, but I got impatient. Uh, but, yeah, no. There's like You go to the bar, he gives you like a big description of this whiskey, what it tastes like. How and best to drink it. How best to drink it, yeah. No, that's, and that is why I... I because they're really nice glasses as well that I got the dragon etched into them and so do the whiskey rocks. It is That's pretty cool. And, and they're not they're not bad whiskey rocks as well. They are actual stone whiskey rocks rather than the metal ones that I've got. That ha, I'm not gonna come That, back that from. looks like progression. <laughs> that does <laughs> <Frame rate! laughs> Go on. How do whiskey rocks work? Whiskey rocks, you can put them in the freezer. Oh, you okay. You they uh, make the whiskey cold without watering it down. Yes, because one of the things... We sell a lot at place where I work. Yeah. But they're all just like, yeah, Basically. you know, yeah, you know, throw them, in the, throw them in the whiskey. It's fine. It doesn't mention... That you need maybe, to freeze them. Maybe chill them. Oh, Well, they're going to be reasonably cold. Uh, the they will be so-so, but the point is to make it... Cold Shit. as you would with. Don't ice. show off, Connor. You got the red gem. I know, but these might be something. I oh. see. I personally, I'm of the school of thought that whiskey should not be cold. I, I'm of the school of thought that you're wrong. <laughs> I think you shouldn't put stuff in whiskey, but I think you should. No, have you cold. should. Right. Um, the optimal way to drink whiskey is a tiny amount of water added. Tiny amount, mm. and that is how you do. I mean, I know I'm going to stereotypes here, but one of the three of us has lived in Scotland for some time. Ah. You, you... But one of the three of us has gone to America, and they have bourbon. Yeah, so, in, um... in America, they don't know anything about uh, whiskey. They make bourbon. I and went... also, that person wasn't me who was talking about bourbon. I went to America, where they have. Pizza that is basically just a bowl of ketchup. Thanks, Chicago. I... Yeah, no, I, I'm on the school of thought that you can have whiskey however you want. I just... I wouldn't want it warm. It's not... Uh, well, you, well, I've had it... I've had, um, well, I've I had say, it in hot drinks. When I say warm, I mean room temperature. <laughs> I think it should usually be room temperature, because if it's cold, then you can't taste it. I mean, that's, no, you that's, can't. Uh, no, if... you, can, you can't taste it as much. It changes the flavor. <laughs> get wrecked, Rock. Changes the flavor profiles of it. You don't get, like, aromatics coming off it. Yeah, but when, when I say cold, I mean the way it, with, with whiskey rocks. Yeah, and that's... Ice, because ice gets rid of the flavor, I think. Well, I well, ice waters it down more, but you can have it slightly slightly watered down. It tastes, it doesn't taste stronger, but it tastes more. If that makes I keep forgetting, <laughs> I just did that. Yeah, good job. Talking about whiskey, it's something that keeps my mind occupied. You're getting a contact high. Is that what this is? No, but I want whiskey. That one was just yeah, regular yeah. falling. Just a tiny, so am, tiny amount of water um, basically just makes you, you be able to taste the flavours of it more. Mm. They, um, it's a bit more well, spread out. You get a little less of the, a the alcohol bit taste. Hmm? It would dilute it a little bit. Yeah, so you can still taste it. I know, that's true. You can taste it better. But I, I don't understand why you're saying <laughs> that, that having it cold would make it Having it cold means you can taste it less because it numbs your tongue. Not that cold. You're putting things from the freezer in it. Yeah, it's not like that cold. It's pretty cold. Mm. It's like it's the same reason why that's why, uh, like lager, you have to drink it cold because otherwise you can taste it. True. And lager is garbage. It if you could freeze good. Budweiser, it may be drinkable. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hello. Uh, uh, I, I know what I'm supposed to do. 
Oh, there's, there's, there's going to be a this button. Key that moves the and it's, okay. <laughs> you sound so upset, Connor. It's just whiskey. I'm not upset. It's just whiskey. Yeah. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. It's cool drawing attention to it. That means it doesn't count. Mm. Connor is now aboard the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> I kind of want to learn how to play a theremin. I know it's the nerdiest thing you can do, but I want to learn how to do a theremin. It's... So I can, I, I so I can be on. part of him, apparently. Well, I know that, like, I, I've, I've been to a show where a theremin has been played live, and yeah. it's... It's a pretty good sound. But I like I've, it. I, I have played one mm. in a music shop. It's alright, you know... I, yeah, but I didn't know Gone With The Sin had a theremin in it until I got good earphones and listened to it. I thought it was just like a sound effect on a guitar. I mean, it's still my pick. So what do you reckon? Nah, it was under a category of Don't Touch My Theremin. Ah. A, a category on what? It was a playlist <laughs> on Spotify. Okay. Look. Yeah, I know, that was most of my joints. I'm sorry. I know you're not keen. I'm getting old. Enough that other Simon is making fun of me for it. I, I, I like how when you started talking about your age, you sounded old. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my bones don't work so good. So we're gonna go get what's in those boxes. I'd wager one of them is a small brown furry creature. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, through right, the, the yeah, no, ignore me, the... shut up. <laughs> well, you're ignoring the boxes, apparently. Yeah, the boxes were in there. No, because you have to climb up. They were over... No, they're not, okay. Look at that face. I can't stay mad at that face. Look at that face. Hello, croc. I like how, uh, yeah. <laughs> all, the, all the cool Let's Play channels are playing Mario and stuff. <laughs> And I'm super fine. No one's playing Mario. I'm what are you on about? Like, Game Grumps played Mario. Oh, sorry, I thought you said cool. Yeah, okay. Oh, <laughs> oh sick bird oh. of the Game Grumps. Damn, I've heard of them. Someone more successful than us. Ha <laughs> ha. So, it doesn't mean they're cool. Nah. Danny Sexbang is, kind of. It's in his name. It's not his name. <laughs> What? You mean my name isn't Stonehenge? What's, what's his second name? What's his real name? Oh, so wait. Okay, I gotcha. Then what's the point? Oh! I thought I was going to move those platforms over, but it's yeah, you... popped some new platforms in. So you can slam them. Hopefully not collapsible platforms. That would suck out of control. Did Flubber have a game? Never have ever seen. I don't think so. I don't know why that thumb thing. Flubber was my first introduction to surround sound. Uh, what? If you can believe that. Why? Had Wesley Crusher in it. Um, there's a point, I think it's when Robin Williams first discovers what Flubber is. He throws it and it pings around the room. Oh, And right. as you're sitting in the cinema, the pinging noise comes from all around you. And that made... So Flubber being a th home theatre test. That, well, no, that made like 10 year old me go... Okay, I got this. I'm down with stereo. Years and years ago, uh, remember Thirty Days of Night when in that was in cinema. In passing, yes. Are we? Oh, that was no way at all. I was Thirty Days of Night came out. I'm sorry, what? Were we old enough <laughs> when Thirty Days of Night came out to be in the cinema? Yes. What was remember in college? I'm thinking. You, you, you need to go through. Door. Are, you, are you thinking of from dusk till dawn? Yes. Yes, I am. Right. Thirty Days of Night is the one that's in Alaska. Um, you idiot! <laughs> it's the one that's in Alaska, and I went to see that with someone you don't like. Um, but the throw shade, why don't you? You against Mr. You don't. Right, you dislike her enough that when someone with the same name as her came up, you assumed it was her and went on a rant. <laughs> but enough about my sister. <laughs> I ain't got nothing wrong with your sister. That boy. was a joke. <laughs> Continue. Your mother too. Thirty days of night. Anyway, 
So, uh, went to see that, and in the cinema, while, like, cr- like you know, while they're, like, standing around going, Oh, you're the creepy vampire, whatever, um, they... Ah, uh, well... I think I followed your train time. of thought there, because yeah. you float in the air yeah. long enough to... Yeah, yeah. I, I also thought, if I... Ba- uh, and the second thought of, oh, if I bounced, and I could latch onto the thing, and then didn't. I think I latched onto it, but the acid also burned my bum, so... Oh, anyway, rock. so the uh, the surround sound made like little kind of scritchy sounds mm. coming from like above and around, like there's some like, creepy crawling on the roof. That's cool. I saw. That was um, the only good thing about that film. I saw lights out like four times, and each time I there was a there's a sound in that that made me think it was legitimately coming from the cinema. Huh. There is. I only there yeah, just like Gremlins too. I only <laughs> realized what well, with Hulk Hogan in the cinema. Um, no, I only Hulk Hogan everywhere, sister. I only realized <laughs> no <laughs> sudden walk- hot dog racism. <laughs> just woke up to someone on the street. Let me tell you Yo. something, brother. <laughs> Macho's not injured, brother. Macho's not. <laughs> This is what we call a rag sheet, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's, where they, uh, it's where they gave Dave Meltzer a load of publicity. There's still nothing <laughs> holding up his magazine. I know, but that stuff. moth needs to be free! What am I doing? What am I even doing? There's still Stop. nothing in here. <laughs> right, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. What was this? We were talking about. I, I had a dream once that Hulk Hogan was my landlord. <laughs> Go ahead. Like my, like I dreamed that so, like so no. who wasn't my flatmate. I dreamed they were my flatmate, and that they just came home one day with like ten kittens. And like you know, I thought the flat could need some sprucing up. I brought some kittens. <laughs> yeah, I, just spruce up the place. Like, but but the landlord's kittens. coming later. And we're not allowed pets. Can I? Can I? And then Hulk ask, Hogan before, shows up. Before you continue, can I ask the question: Did Hulk Hogan do a leg drop on a kitten? No. Okay. Uh, we didn't let him in. We refused to let him in like flat you because he's so racist. <laughs> it's like, no, you're not coming in here. We're not. We're not allowing this kind of behavior in our flat. <laughs> Go away, Hulk Hogan. Oh, did I, did I mention, that was a fun dream. I mentioned on the channel once, though, I had a dream where me and you were the cruise, like the yeah. cruiserweight tag team champions of WCPW, <laughs> a belt that doesn't even exist, and it only the it only lasted that one night because we were the champions. Nice. We were the inaugural and the last, and in subsequent dreams. It was just a belt underneath my bed. <laughs> I like that though. Like you've got Batman's cave of trophies. He's just like, oh, it's, just, it's a thing I did once. Yeah, that, that belt I won, you know. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, here it is. All... I, as a kid, I thought that looked like Rayman, like it mutated in like some sort of horror. Yeah, maybe. Because I know that. To, was it this game? I know that this was the era of advertising, basically just dissing all the other guys. Yeah. Wasn't well, there an advert once where Crash Bandicoot had sex with Peach or something? Possi- oh wait, no, because it was in this one. Because Croc ate Sonic. That was that was one. That's, I I looked and it's not Sonic. It's it's Crash Bandicoot's shoes. Okay. Yeah, I I kind of. Guess that because because he's on the PlayStation. Also, Sonic has like, like, like pointy shoes. He's a little yeah. elf man. It's it's like it's it's when there was a fantasy uh, converse. When there was a fantasy Sonic, why was he not an elf archer? Okay, so just can't to address it. Simon's point first, I thought it was not Sonic. You know, just to avoid uh. a libel suit. But you know, oh, but they had everything wink. else on there. Like it was definitely Mario's hat. Yeah. And it was definitely Lara Croft's guns. Didn't Duke Nukem have sex with Lara Croft or something as well? License I... to chill. I need in, to re- in the world of these weird adverts, 
Someone should make a coffee table book of them, actually. Hmm. Like, just weird adverts from the 80s and 90s. Like, I showed I showed you guys the Command & Conquer poster. Yeah. Oh my god, yes! Yeah. yeah that's so cool. You, you could... So, I was about to say, could you put that on the screen, Crayon, no, man? No. But no! No, Magic Crayon is not going to put that on the screen. <laughs> Can you beat Hitler's high score? No, I'm not putting it on the screen. That's not even the most offensive thing on there. Um, like, Sarkozy... Not Sarkozy. Um... <laughs> Sarkozy was on there. Just made some very bold claims of... No, uh... Thingy. About the Prime Minister no! of France. Stalin? Oh wait, was it Sarkozy? No! No, the, the president, Prime Minister of France, it was at that time. Jacques Chirac? Jacques Chirac, yeah. He's on that poster. What? And he sued them over it. Because he was did on a poster with Hitler. So did they think he was someone else? No, it was him. He, did, they knew it was him. What did Jacques Chirac do? Exactly! Was What's he done that's significant in history? Oh, throwing mad shade on Jack What's Chirac. <laughs> Timely. Jack, so oh, heck, spelling Jack. Uh, C, C, Q, so, Jack. Batman symbol. No, that, that sounds like it should, that would be a pretty good book. Oh, yeah. It oh, brings up the be. Wikipedia straight away. Okay, but it also go. sounds like it would be one of those, um, uh, previously mayor of Paris. Would it be specific? Here are adverts that we can't show anymore because there are very good reasons we can't show. No, it would be. Here are here is a book of adverts from these 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 decades. Right. You put that down and then because you're then not saying though. Oh, look at these freaks. Well, no, because if we're doing that, you would still have to run. It's so simple. A woman could do it. You know. Yeah, and the Nintendo. Nintendo. Writing, doing an advert of a guy playing a uh, GBA instead of having sex. A tribal GBA, wasn't oh, it? Oh yeah, it was a tribe. No, I think it was a micro, ironically enough. <laughs> ah, controversies. Okay, here we I've go. seen one. There's a... popular culture. There is a good... Uh, speaking of like adverts for just weird, edgy adverts mm. from the past. I think it's for the Sega CD. And there is the most 90s kid. That shouldn't have worked. I it should I, not have worked. No, it's what I was saying. Congratulations. Okay, you were actually... I was about to say, I shouldn't have lived then. <laughs> but no, like, the, it's the most 90s looking kid saying, the guys at Sega dressed like... I should be alive like then! The guys at Nintendo dressed like nerds. And it's like, you're not even advertising the games. You're just like, I've got cred. Spe Yo. Speaking of uh, people being in... Uh, thinking about Command dressing. And, Command and Conquer was the game, right? Command and Conquer yes. was the game, yeah. I don't think it was Jack Chirac. I'm sure it oh, was. Oh, wait, no, there it is. There we go. Because <laughs> um, I know that say, Mussolini was on it, which reminded me of my favourite comedy punchline, that's for the invasion of Crete. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Who's that on Blackadder or That's, that's for the young ones. Okay. Uh, Ale Alexi Sale famously looks like Mussolini and he's he's dressed in Mussolini's outfit. Yeah. And Neil says, Hey, are you Benito Mussolini, fascist dictator of Italy? No. <laughs> and then they just ignore it. And then his point is he does a bit of stand up at the end, he says, It's not been easy looking like Mussolini because you know, I was in the, the the disco dancing away and this girl came up and said, Are you Mussolini? I wanted to impress her, so I said yes. <laughs> she pulls me close Gets right close, butts me in the face. Says, "What's that for?" She says, "That's for the invasion of Crete." That's a pretty good punch that line. is one of my favorite punchlines because it's so context specific. <laughs> <laughs> also, well done, Connor. I, I made on it. this ten right. level, ten lives later, I made it. See, this is why I've got no issues with grinding for lives because if I did it in New Super Mario Brothers Wii, it's fine. Well, fair enough. If you die, the game is very generous. You go back to the start of the room yeah. with everything. Have we missed a gem? No. We're supposed to have the red one first. Are we? I, I didn't think you always got them in the same order. Uh, well, I thought one way was the boss, and this is the other way. Well, let's keep going and find out. We, we, can, we, can, we can backtrack. Okay, I'll say something, because uh, I've been thinking about it with um, with my recent thinking of platformers. Yes. I, and, um, a pop, I don't know if we're, oh, well, I've already said game problems. Uh, 
Giant Bomb is doing a let's play, uh, well, like a sort of let's play of um, some Super Mario Sunshine. I like that one. Yeah, I like Sunshine too. Uh, but I kind of don't like the w things that Mario did to platformers for a while. The come out, go into a level, you have an objective, come out of the level, go in again and do another objective. Well, that was 64. I know, that's what I'm saying is that, yes, Mario 64 started that, and I don't think I like it. Because, like, Banjo Kazooie did that, Gex did that. Quick question. You know, because that's the company it deserves to be in. So, say, did that button you pushed bend that polygon so you could climb it? Yes. Because it was just a ramp before? Yeah. Nice. Okay, it looks like you may have missed the red one. No. Cause... And some gobos, apparently, because they're only on one. Gobos. I've ruined the count for that episode. <laughs> I think I haven't. Okay. I, I think it'll loop back around. No, that's the end of the level. <laughs> oh. Me. <laughs> well. Unless it's in here. All five gobos and. Well, no, alright, so you can get to the ending. We can edit some stuff together. Oh, yeah. It's been too easy editing this thus far. It'll give me something to do. What, really? No, you're lying. Well, you count, are a filthy count liar. Count the word gobbo. <laughs> I say gobbo one more time. I will turn this. <laughs> That's how you turn into a gobbo? I will turn this let's play around. I'll turn this let's play into was, a gobbo. I was going for more of, uh, of, uh, what's it, Limp Biscuit? There'll be, like, There's six, six more gobbos in this. Wow, <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> Simon. You just quoted an album track of Limp Biscuit. Not a single. <laughs> uh, blame OSW review. Yeah, I think I've missed oh, it. Oh, go to the ending. We'll we'll figure it out. I thought this was a boss level for some reason. So did I. So did Simon. Because like the, the three of us have now mentioned. Oh yeah, you know the the, the boss at the end. There wasn't a cutscene at the beginning of this level. Of course not. Well, there's no. Boss. I'm not gonna fight Chomley the Snow. Why was, this, why was this thing called Chomley? I don't know, because he's homely. Like, that, that's not even a pun. You know, um, you, you call him Frosty or Jack or something, because it's a snow level. So, should I come back into this and we'll add it around it? Or? Yeah, we'll no, do that. That's fine. <laughs> this isn't even a. This was a... Or is this the next level? This is no, the next is level! The... Ooh, look at that guy. <laughs> next time Marty on Rock. <laughs> you asshole. And I got think... a bird's beak. <laughs> what? What? We're now stuck in this level because you can only quit out or quit the game. And you haven't saved. That is a good save there, Andy. I thought that was obvious, and then you were just like, go on and quit. <laughs> oh, where's the man? Quit the game. Oh, it's the, the, the one Crash Bandicoot level. With the draw disc, the, the bridge one. Road to nowhere. I'm on a road. Here we go. Here we go. So I only know from the Bad Shepherds. So we'll Got no way of knowing, uh, knowing, riding on a road to nowhere. So, uh, yeah, guys, welcome back to the first time we're looking at this stage. Have and you... we don't take sh anything from is happening. <laughs> All we gotta do is learn to have some fun, cause we're Pax and Paddy, Paddy and Max. And best of all, we don't pay council tax. Oh, well, man. I have just noticed. My balls are in my stomach. The... That's all I remember from that show. Now you've distracted me again. Sorry. No, I've just noticed this is the skybox we had from the last boss arena. Because mm -hmm. it was this sort of ruined city looking thing, except it was blue last time. Hmm. Yeah. All I remember is the time he's trying to give an inspirational speech to his uh, secret son. And he just is quoting uh, that father and son song by, uh, what's it, Cat Stevens? Roland Keating? Yeah, I know boys uncovered it. Yeah. 
Cats and babies. Yes, yes we have no friends. Oh? <laughs> did, did, did you just air hop? Is this Donkey Kong Country all of a sudden? I thought I was the coolest guy in the world because I had discovered that roll off the platform gives you an air dash thing, but then there are like DK coins that require you to do that. Yeah. I'm like, okay, Rare discovered this also. I thought this when I got the uh, slide jump from Crash. I thought I was, I'm um, so cool. I don't remember that one. Uh, if you slide and then jump at the end of your slide, you go further. Oh, it's like, um, Richter Belmont's Somersault. Yeah, kind of. In Castlevania. Well, sometimes you need it, so, as I said, it's the exact same story. I kind of like the way this game is going, that it... It seems to be tooled for not using the analog sticks. Hmm. So when you're on these platforms, you do have just enough time to turn, reorient, and get a bit of a run up. I legitimately think this is a good game. But I don't, I'm not saying it's not a good game. I know, but what I'm saying, yeah, I know what I'm saying is that's a good thing. I'll too. say it's not a good game. Oh, look no, at that shading! Look, this is look, too. This no, is no, the, no. Where's the waist high cover? Where's Where's the iron sights, Connor? Where are my two guns? Where are my micro purchases? For some reason, my mind went when you said when you said iron. I was thinking the iron chic, and I'm thinking <laughs> that would make this game a lot better. Where are my sprays? Where are my skins? I found this turkey. I think it looks like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> and now he will stay down. Shoves him back in the box. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> oh yeah, I think you've mentioned this and every time I lose it. <laughs> wow, this is a challenge. Engaging gameplay. Oh, man. Uh, More I engaging gameplay was... and combat mechanics than Game of Thrones, Connor. Yeah. Okay. You had to push a button to do that. You know what? I had the choice between this and Game of Thrones. I kind of made the right choice. I think you may I, have made I the right choice. I kind of like how your appearances in Game of Thrones... Ah uh, slash will go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is lovely. This is a nice level. Look at that. Look at, that. Uh, yeah. Look at that inside of that character model. <laughs> so I tried to find the other day uh, the the video where Iron Sheik is given the bag and told like given like the names of yes. wrestlers on cards and he if they're a dick he puts them in the bag. <laughs> oh! It's marching mild. Because... He's made out of component parts. It's that guy from Evangelion. Evangelion. But yeah, yeah it's Evangelion. So I think that video is gone off YouTube. Aww. But the one where he does it for all of the... Was that from Yushu? Uh, yeah. Because Yushu has, like, sells their things now. But yeah, the, but the video... The same, like, the thing, but, like, the next segment where he just does it for women wrestlers, which is called the douchebag. Oh, gross. It's just, yeah... But still, uh, it's just how happy he looks when he's putting names in the bag. And he's like, oh, yeah, no, no, they're a douchebag. I'll put them in that bag. And it's like, no, Linda McMahon. No, she's nice. She's, a, hmm, this one, she's nice, but she's a douchebag. I'll put her in the bag. <laughs> and he puts her in the bag. And, oh, he's having a great time. What a crazy old man. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know whether people like him for him when he was a wrestler or anything, or well, if you just is, like him for being a when crazy When he was, old like, man. in his actual physical prime, was yeah. before it was televised, I think. Like, I think he was champion before Hulkamania started. Yeah. Mm. He, he was... So he's, like, like 70s. I think he was getting past it. He had one of the longest undefeated championship reigns. In, in yeah. his original company, because it's the Iron Sheik. Look at this man. And are then, you thinking Iron Sheik or are you thinking original Sheik? I think Iron Sheik, from what I, from okay. what I know. Ah, uh, 69. <laughs> I, I, there's I, always a I, bit of confusion with I, that. I, I don't know how I'm supposed to hurt him. He's growing his hair out. It looks weird. Who are you about? Cena. Oh. How's that gonna work? Cause isn't his thing supposed to be military man, crew cut man? Yeah, but uh, why? 
Why won't he be hurt now? He's getting married. He's fighting Braun Strowman. It's not fun, is it? He fought Braun Strowman last night. I think you'll find. Oh, okay. It was yeah. <laughs> it went how you'd expect. But Strowman destroyed him. Yeah. yeah. That sounds like such a Scottish phrase. I'm sorry. What? I think you'll find. I think you'll find that's legal tender. With. Oh yeah, you yeah, know I, I usually use. I think you'll find when I'm doing the the dumb nasal, <laughs> nasal voice of like pedantry. Of like, oh, I think you'll find that he did not wreck John Cena. He <laughs> defeated him. <laughs> I think you'll find that he did not even properly defeat him, as it went to a disqualification. That's a please good. never do that again. It makes me want to punch you. That's, a, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good that's nerd voice. Yeah. That actually came up a lot when I was, uh, when I was DMing that game. Because I had this newest Frenchman running the casino. How old is Goldberg now? I don't know. Oh, you're doing it though! Gold. I have gone this far before. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yes, I'm on 49 lives. Left. He's 1.93 one me meters. Let's see, he was born in 66. It's weird. So, 51. It's weird measuring height in meters. Yeah. 6 foot 4. Ow, I heard them split then. That's not good. Was... Hey! He had the longest undefeated, the longest winning streak in professional wrestling until Asuka surpassed it in 2017. Yeah, I knew that happened. That, that was. <laughs> no, but it's like confirmed on the internet now. Does instead it? Instead of just being a thing. Can I ask the question? Is is that streak still ongoing? She uh, hasn't been No, because she's well, yeah, but she's injured, so she's not defending it. I know, but oh, is it defeated champion? That's. I don't know. I think being unable to compete invalidates your streak. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't have an undefeated streak just because I've never competed. Oh, I thought it meant like, um, Gold Goldberg's like win-loss streak. Yeah. Because didn't he go out onto like 170? Oh, right. no. That number got inflated like really yeah, high. Yeah, it did. Apparently his nicknames were Daman, The Myth, and The Iconic. Never heard that. All Doesn't right. include rip off Stone Cold. How is he a rip off Stone Cold? I don't know. That's just you... what people called him in the day. See, I don't know if you can necessarily count that as rip off Stone Cold, because I'm mean, bald, badass dude. It's not like. I mean, we can defend him not being one all the time, but WC. Like, people who worked at WCW have admitted that they pushed him because he resembled Stone Cold. Ah, oh, fair enough. Not because he was a truck that walked upright. I mean, he was also a truck that walked upright, but he also resembled Stone Cold, and Stone Cold was the. Sh and kids. Up today. Sorry. Was he? Was he still? Yeah, no, he was Stone Cold at the time because he was the ringmaster for not <laughs> until not all that long. Stunning Steve Austin. Oh. Yeah, it's done. Get a twofer! What was he in ECW? Because he was in that for a little bit, and he, he put on a big, long, blonde wig and was like, Ah, I'm Hulk Hogan now! Ah, brother, brother, brother! It wouldn't surprise me if his name in ECW was Yo LSD or something. <laughs> oh, drugs! Mountain Goat. Because I know they wanted to go with Chili McFreeze. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, that's it. They, they wanted oh, to Oh, you him... mean Stone Cold was ECW? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant, I thought you meant Goldberg. No! <laughs> I was thinking that is a thing that didn't exist. Alright, back to Ice World, unfortunately, because... No, but Goldberg did wear a blonde wig in WWE. Gotta go and get that mess done.